This is our pile of mail. Hey, it's day one. I'm going to check the mail and we'll see what we have. Whenever I get back, I put the mailbox key in the same spot. And then this time I grabbed the box cutter because I had a package. Day two, time to check the mail. So I have trash and recycling by our mailboxes, which is nice. But we also just put it in the trash or recycling in our house when we don't have that. As you can see, our table isn't always cleared off. This is my husband's spot, so I'm putting this here. Usually I will just take the stuff I don't want on the table and put it on the chair and so that this surface is cleared off. All of this is my painting stuff for like, I get paid for this. And so I thought I was gonna get to this today, but I may not, but I have this little bench thing that I just slide all of this stuff to when we are eating meals and it's very easy and fast and that has helped a lot. Day three, I checked the mail late so I'm gonna have to deal with this later because we're going to a Halloween thing. I got a Halloween card for my mother-in-law, so cute, and a little thing I'm gonna have to do something with if I want to or just recycle it. It's day four of checking my mail with you and I am mailing the thing I got in the mail yesterday and was saying I thought I would either do it, take care of it, or just recycle it. Um, I think my husband already recycled his magazine. I saw him looking through it and then I haven't seen it since then. And that was the day that I put it on the table for him. So I didn't deal with my mail from yesterday immediately because we had a little Halloween party. And so depending on when I post this video, that's gonna be weird, but I did get this card and I know I'm gonna get rid of it, but I just wanted to sit it here by my recycling instead of in it. Oh, I'm still recording. Uh, just so I can see it every time I walk by my recycling. And then after Halloween, I'll just recycle it. But I also got in the mail today, my Amazon package. Uh, the mailman was like a couple of hours late. I felt bad because I still didn't have my package in my box and I was like, can I just get it? So he did get it for me, it was very nice. And the box is torn, so I'm not sure if I will reuse that for donations or if I'll just recycle it because there's a hole in it. He's like, people think we did it. I'm like, it's, no, it's mine. Plus nothing is missing from my box. So I'm gonna go ahead and unpackage this stuff. Okay, let me just show you. I have another watercolor, another YouTube channel about watercolor. So I just got this and I love hummingbirds. So that makes me happy that that's on there, but I've heard that's a really good set. So I'm gonna test it out. I go through watercolor paper more than paint because the paint is just like never ending kind of. Anyway, this is an author that I met at a writing conference and he just published this book of short stories, which I wish short stories were more popular. But anyway, it's a beautiful cover. I'm so excited to read it. He does really thoughtful, meaningful stories. I subscribe to his email list and so he is also a former police chief. So he writes about that some and drawing cartoons and doodles and stuff, even as he was working. He wasn't retired yet when I met him at a conference in Tennessee. So anyway, enough about that. I'll have to let you know how it is, but the stories did sound good, but this one does not have any illustrations in it. Today, we just got one piece of mail and it's for my husband. So I sent him a picture I don't know, it like seems important, but probably isn't one of those type of things. So I'm gonna put it in his little pile in this chair beside the table. We love hummingbirds. So my husband bought that in, I don't know, 
it was on a cruise, so Costa Rica or Panama or somewhere, Mexico. We did not have mail the last couple of days, so that was easy. But my husband did put this magazine on the table for me to look at because he was asking if I wanted him to build me something from it, which is very nice. So it was on the table and I'm now just putting it in the chair beside the table because he's out of town for like a week and I can actually have the table cleared off and I love it. So here's what it looks like right now. So it does have some stuff. This is his pen, but I don't care. And then salt and pepper, that doesn't bother me. Although I could clear it off even more. Uh, and then some paintings I just did today. So I can move them, but they're cute and they're Halloween-y because they're ghosts. <laughs> so, whoa, my hair, sorry. And I have a video of me painting them on my other channel, Watercolor with Megan. So you can go watch it there if you would like. I'll show you. And they're little magnets. So, like, the back has a magnet on it. Well, let me just show you. I paint these for... Uh, <laughs> for a local business so day like seven or eight of getting mail and I just have one letter and it's from my sister an actual letter and it has a cute hummingbird stamp on it so I'm gonna go read it and I should probably write back immediately because usually when I don't then it's like months later or I just don't ever do it so <sighs> plus it's a beautiful fall day and I can't get a lot of work stuff done because they are doing a bunch of loud work. So I can't concentrate that much. But because I'm responding to a letter, I don't have to concentrate that much. I just like answer questions or reply to whatever she said. So I think that'll be good. This is all that was in yesterday's mail. And it's for me to look through and recycle. And then we got some socks in the mail today for my husband. I'm like, this is, we really don't get a lot of mail. Um, like maybe this is a bad example, but also like shows the importance of unsubscribing from certain things. So my husband's still out of town, so he will deal with this when he gets back. Even if it's a good cause, I mostly consider stuff like this to be junk mail because if I want to donate to a charity, I'll usually go online and do it. Also, a lot of mail will say important, literally written on the envelope and I'll open it and it's not important. So everything is important to the person who's sending it. Otherwise, they wouldn't waste their time and money sending it. But that doesn't mean that you have to keep it on a pile on the counter. So it helps to open it right away and recycle it or see if it really is something that's important to you. I stopped recording as much because I couldn't remember which day I had started and things were getting busy and we were maybe traveling out of town and stuff. Plus it's pretty repetitive just checking the mail every day, especially when there's nothing. <laughs> didn't get any mail Sunday, Monday, or Tuesday, but today my husband got this little magazine catalog and I got a letter from my nephew. Just super fun. I'm gonna go write him back, especially since it feels great outside. I'm gonna sit outside and do it. Get that ready, send to him. <sighs> and put this, cause I'm gonna keep this letter from him. So I'll put it with my memorabilia stuff. Today we just got junk mail. It was just one piece and I immediately recycled it. Not a lot of mail this week, but I did record a video about coupons we got in the mail and put them on the fridge. They were for fast food. So we may not use them, but we'll put them on the fridge for a while and eventually they'll expire and we'll throw them away. Today we both got a package in the mail and thankfully recycling came today. So we took that out. So we will both be opening these and making sure everything is good with them and then breaking down the boxes and putting them with the recycling. And the other day, my husband got a kind of junk mail, but like 
I don't know, maybe like a bank statement or something he wanted to look at and then get rid of. And then we've had a couple of days of no mail again. So kind of not exciting. I actually wish I had kept all of the mail because then I could like show a pile of it. I might recreate it with just different pieces of mail. I don't know. This is our pile of mail to represent the mail from a month. So I just gathered some items. This doesn't really seem like a lot of mail for a month maybe, but that's also kind of the point. You can get to where you don't have that much either. And actually we don't have Amazon Prime anymore. So that's part of why we have fewer packages. I mean, I'm quite certain. But when we do order from them, a lot of times we'll order a bunch of stuff at once. So I don't know, but at least it sh saves us the $100 or whatever per year.